Hello and welcome to John's Author Diary for the weekend in May the 12th, 2019. May the 12th is my birthday, so happy birthday to me. Woohoo. Now I've had a bit of a mixed bag of a week. It was a bank holiday on Monday, so that wasn't the writing day. And then on Tuesday and Wednesday, I was feeling pretty rough, still kind of getting over that. I think it was basically a bit of a chest infection virus thing. Lost my voice for a little while. That was fun. But what I've managed to do is I have completed the first draft to Wheel of Fortune, which is book 10 of the Ravenglass Chronicles. So I've now got two first drafts. I've got the Hermit and the Wheel of Fortune. I think I'm going to go straight on to write the next one. Now, if you've been following my progress for a while on this series, you know that what I usually do is I'll write a first draft and then basically complete the book before going on to the second And this is usually because I wait for feedback from my alpha readers. Now what I am doing this time is I know exactly where each episode is going to end for the next few episodes. So I'm just going to keep plowing on and just keep the momentum going. Book 11 is basically going to be the end of the second novel. So I'm really into the faster pace, lots of stuff going on. So there's a lot of revelations, a lot more mystery. And then boom, we've got a big game changer at the end of book 11. So... That's going to be a lot of fun to write. Looking forward to getting there. I think that's giving me momentum, motivation, that kind of thing to get through to the end of book 11. So I'm really pleased with the story. I'm basically getting enough stuff backed up so when the summer holiday comes in July and August, I've got stuff I can be editing and working on. And it feels weird that I'm nearly at the halfway point. I've had this story in my head for years now, and so it feels like a really cool accomplishment that I'm almost at a really good milestone. I've also got Strength now back from the editor. It's been proofread, it's been formatted, it's ready to go. So that is going to launch on Monday, so the 13th. People on my Patreon who were on it above the $3 level will have already got access to that file. And it's also meant that I can launch the next box set in the Ravenglass Chronicles. So this is books 5 to 8. So on Friday I went to see Detective Pikachu with my son and wife. It was quite amusing. There's some... Fun moments, some good jokes in there. I was impressed to find out that one of my old friends in Leeds had actually designed the inflatables used in the film, so that was pretty cool. It's one of those films that is a bit like Toy Story, where it has stuff for grown-ups and it has stuff for kids, so it wasn't completely tedious. I finished reading The Queen's Poisoner by Jeff Wheeler. That book was really good, really enjoyed that. I started reading Ursula K. Le Guin's A Wizard of Earthsea, which is the book we're going to be reading for... I may read on the Arcane Book Club. So far, so good. This is another one of those classics in fantasy. I really like her writing. She's got a really great rhythm, really musical quality to her stuff on a sentence level. And the world she built is really interesting as well. So I'm enjoying that. I'm about a third through that. I also finished reading a book called The Artist's Journey by Stephen Pressfield. I'd say this was more of an inspirational book than a book on writing craft or anything like that so I enjoyed reading it it's a lot of the same things as his other books I read do the work quite recently and I've read his book the war of art a couple of times and I'm also reading a book called the inevitable by Kevin Kelly so this is what I would call speculative non-fiction so this is looking at the way technology might develop in the future based on an extrapolation of the lot of the trends in technology so I've only just read the intro, so I don't don't really have much else to add to that, except it seems interesting so far. So my steampunk story, Lord Sidebottom and the Awesome Airship Mystery, has been reprinted on the Science Fantasy Hub, and it will be featured on next week's Sci-Fi Roundtable podcast as an audio story, so do check that out. So I've had no questions this week, but if you do have a question, please email me. It's john at johncronshaw.com. I also continue to post stuff on my Patreon, including getting access to this a day early and access to strength almost a week early. So you can join that for a dollar a month, which is 20p a week in the UK. So please do check that out. It's patreon.com slash John Cronshaw author. So until next time, cheerio. 